Hey, it's Joe Farrow with Geek Toolkit, and I want to follow up on my home automation tablet video. I did this picture, well, the video got to this point here, and you can see out of 214,000 views, the number one question I get on this video is how did I do this Waze uh, background? So let's go into how I did this for a full panel, what's called a panel view, to show the Waze maps. I'll also show you how I did the driving directions. We'll explore the integration a little bit, show you what that looks like, and we'll do a cool automation. We'll actually turn a light green when the uh, commute is good and red when it's not. So let's go through all that today. First thing we want to do here, this is what it's going to look like. We're going to get our commute times. But the other thing we want to do is get that full ways page going. So the first thing is we're going to add a new, uh, basically a new tab here in Lovelace. This switch here, incredibly important. It's called panel mode. And what it does is it makes the Lovelace card take up the entire area. So when we turn that on and say save, whatever we add here will take up this whole area. So we're going to want to add a web page. And if you type web page, then you can see here. Now, if I add this, this would fill up this entire area, but we don't want to do that. We want to put a different URL here for the ways uh, section. So let's talk about how we're going to get that. So this is a ways.com website and you can basically zoom in and pick whatever map you want. I think we're, Let's see, let's kind of pick somewhere a bit north. So we will go into eh, Boston. Let's go to Boston. This is where you would pick basically your commute area or some area where you want to keep track of. And this is the view that you want to have. Once you have this set up, right click here. And what we're going to want to do is go to share. And you see there's three tabs here. Go to embed a map. Then on the embed a map, we're going to take the HTTP from here and we're going to go all the way to live map and we're going to copy that. It's a little tricky sometimes. Sometimes you just copy it and put it into a notepad file and you can pay, pull it out of there, but you're going to want just that portion. Now we're going to go back to where we're editing our Lovelace and you can see it ends at live map and it starts with embed. And that there, we don't have to give it a title. We can just say save and boom, there you go. There's your full page ways integration. And you can actually move this around. You can actually hold control and zoom. If you have a tablet, you can zoom in on it. It's a very, very handy way to have the map embedded into Lovelace. That's the first part of this. Let's go into the second part. The second thing we want to do is actually add in the travel times right here. And I'll show you what that looks like. So again, we're going to want to go to a map. We're going to want to get some data. And this is actually an integration that we're going to want to edit in. We're going to build out this YAML here. I'll show you how to do this line by line. And then once we have that, we can actually put that into the YAML itself and then reboot and get the sensor to show up. So here's the sensor in the platform, Waze Travel Time. Here's the documentation for it. And you can see there's quite a few things here. We're going to go through the main ones, but you can also do things like including where you're going to get from point A to point B. You might want to say, okay, I want to go from you know, home to work, but I want to go through this certain area, or I want to make sure I don't go through that area, or I want to, uh, you know, turn off toll roads, stuff like that. The destination, and this can be GPS coordinates or an entity ID, and then origin, same way. So let's talk about how to get these GPS coordinates. Okay, so here I'm on Google Maps. I've searched for Marvel Studios, and you can see it's right there. And if I click on this and right click, I get this number at the top. So the longitude and latitude, which is the GPS coordinates I want. If I click on that, it'll copy it. And then I can paste that into my, basically my uh, clipboard. So I can start building this out. Now you can see this is my destination. This is how long it's going to take to get there. For the origin, I just picked, basically, I pretended I lived in Brooklyn still. So there we go. <laughs> There's Brooklyn and I can just right click wherever I want to say that I live and copy that to a clipboard. And now I have a from and to destination address. Now you would want to do this for your home and work, or you know, if you want to do um, home and school or whatever, whatever your two destinations are, front in your origin, your destination, you can put them in there. You're going to want to fill in your region. And then I highly, highly recommend giving it a name. Now I'm actually saying car here, and then I'm specifying the vehicle type car just in case it's faster to take a taxi. So let's talk about what that looks like. So you can specify a separate uh, vehicle type here. So you can see I have a taxi. And all I did is another dash and duplicated what I had here, but changed the name to taxi and added this. 
All right, now we're gonna take this and to actually edit this in, it's really simple. Copy that and paste it right here. Make sure that you have your green check mark. Now remember, this is a YAML edit. I'm using file editor. If you've been following my tutorials, it shows you how to do this. This is a YAML edit, so this means we have to reboot. So we're gonna to go to configuration. We'll go down to server controls. Make sure you check your configuration. If everything's green, you can restart it there. When it comes back up, then we are going to want to add this card. This is really simple to add it in. And if you follow my tutorials again, this is going to look really, really uh, familiar. You just go by entity, um, select your entities. These again are going to be sensors. It'll automatically put the car there and then it'll show you a preview of what it's going to look like. That's how I got this card here. All right. Well, now we have our travel times and we have our beautiful ways map right here. The next thing I want to do is an automation that says if the travel time's over so many minutes, then turn a light green. And if it's under so many minutes, turn a light red. And basically what this will do is tell me uh, basically if my commute's going to be good or bad and it will give me an idea of something like, you know, should I leave early? So what I've done here is I pointed a camera at the wall. I'm using an LED strip and right now you can see it's green. We're going to go through the automation of how we change this to be green or red. Then we'll also go through the developer tools. I'll show you how to actually configure that manually. All right, for automations, we're gonna create a automation here. Okay, I deleted out the, the two. I wanna make sure that I don't have any automations in here so that we can show you how to do it from scratch. So we'll start with an empty automation. So keep in mind, if you're gonna change the value to be green for one value and red for another, you're gonna to wanna to have two automations. So I'm gonna say commute time bad and commute time good. And I'm going to go based on what's called a numeric state. Now, this is a, the trigger that I want to fire this on. For the entity, we'll just uh, deal with the car one. We won't worry about the taxi for this one. So for the car, if the value is above 30, that means if it takes longer than 30 minutes, then we're going to set that light to red. Now, remember, for lights, if you followed my light tutorial, you actually... Uh, can activate a scene in this case I'm actually going to call a service and we're gonna do light that turn on and now we can start picking our entity so I will pick a uh, W LED entity so it's gonna change a LED strip and what we'll do is we will change it to red if it's above and the effect if you're doing an LED strip make sure that you set the effect to solid otherwise um, it won't take effect it'll basically do whatever animation it's doing so i'm going to say i want it to be solid and red and that's if it goes 30 minutes now the next thing we want to do is want to replicate this so we're going to click here and duplicate the automation we'll change this from instead of above 30 we're going to say below 30. i actually like to say uh sometimes below 31 that way if it's 30 or less it includes 30 minutes in there and that 30 minutes is arbitrary i'm just saying that's when it would change but the, this right here, we want to change to green. We can keep the entity the same and the solid, everything here the same. And then when I go to my automations, I have a bad and a good. They've never run. Now, let me show you how to test these. This is something I actually wasn't up on myself. Okay, there we go. There's good, there's bad, it refreshed. So we're gonna go into developer tools and we are going to work on, show you the commute time. So here's the commute object if you look at this here it actually says the duration is 23.4 minutes so that's the first thing to know is the duration is actually it's a little bit more accurate than what you see here so it says 23 minutes here the actual duration is a little bit more accurate good to know the other thing to know here is it actually shows you the route between the two areas which i thought was cool uh here's the stuff we put into the entity it shows you the distance and miles which is handy uh, unit of measurements, and then so on. The default state uh, shows up as 23. Right now, this is what this value is, it's 23. What I'm gonna do, oh, let's bring up the camera and show you. So it's green right now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this value to be 35. Now that obviously doesn't change my commute, but what it will do is change it in the system so that we can test this. So now when I click and I bring up my camera, it's actually changed to red. I'm going to see if I can sh show you that at the same time here. So we'll bring this over. There we go. So that's red. And we'll set this state to 12. And now the light's green. And this is just my webcam basically pointing at the wall. 
at this point, I've tested this and I know this works. That means that my commute throughout the day, if the commute's changing, I can have that light change. Now this light could be whatever you want it to be. This is an example automation, but it could be a LED on a light switch. If you followed my Innovelli tutorial, I showed you how to set the light on a light switch to be different colors. This is one of the things you can now do is based on your commute, you can decide. The other cool thing about this is your UI will actually reflect this of whatever you say. Now keep that in mind too. Um, if you start messing with things in developer tools, you might see numbers that you don't, that aren't real. So it's obviously not actually 12 right now. And so we'll set it to 35 and I'll say set state, see it go to red and then overview 35 minutes. All right, that was my ways overview. I just wanted to do a quick video. I had a ton of people asking me about it to the point where I felt guilty that I hadn't done it in so long. All right, that's all I have for that. Thanks for, thanks for watching. I'm Joe Farrow with Geek Toolkit and hopefully that was useful for you. Thanks a lot. Bye.